What's up everybody, I'm Seth Fowler and today I'm unboxing a very cool sneaker collaboration in one of the coolest boxes I think I've ever seen. Now because I haven't actually seen the sneaker yet, I can't say for sure if the sneaker is as dope as the box, but I would assume that it is just based on the two brands that are collaborating on this shoe. Really quick though, before we jump into the unboxing, I want to give a huge thank you to today's sponsor, Martell. Obviously Martell is a classic cognac brand that's over 300 years old, and they're currently celebrating people who are courageously themselves. And through Martell's Make Your Statement platform, they're trying to amplify those voices of the people who did stay true to themselves, just like Martell stayed true to themselves over the last 300 years. So make sure to check out Martell if you are 21 years or older. Without further ado, let's jump into this crazy unboxing. So this box is obviously sick. It's one of the coolest wooden boxes I've ever seen and it comes with this incredible Martell camo pattern sort of printed onto all the different sides of the box. Now as you could probably read on the front of the box, this is a collaboration between Martell and one of my favorite designers, John Geiger. And I actually have yet to see what's inside this box, but based on how sick the box looks and the pattern that's on the outside of the box, I'm assuming the sneakers and whatever else is in here is gonna be just as cool. But actually when I was looking at this box, I realized that there was kind of some hidden details which I wanna point out to you guys. The first is actually this Martell logo right down here, kind of hidden in this sort of natural wood area. And also the John Geiger logo, which is very discreetly hidden off to the side. It's like a darker JG logo. And that's actually something that John seems to do throughout his designs. I've owned a couple of his sneakers, the 002s in particular, and uh, I love when he does it. It's such a cool, like subtle branding hit. But if you look at all the other sides of the box, they're all all covered in that Martell camo pattern. I think some sides of the box also feature some hidden Martell birds, which I love. I think that's so sick. Oh, and I actually forgot to mention that later on in the video, we have a chance to speak to the designer of the shoes, Mr. John Geiger himself, which I'm super excited about. So if you guys want to hear his thoughts on these shoes and how they all came together, make sure to stay tuned until later on in the video. But it looks like the way that you open this box is this slide right here. You've got this nice little finger hole, very nice detail. Let's go ahead and slide it and see what we've got. Hopefully nothing falls out of the box. <laughs> Is it cool? I can't see it. What do we have? What do we have? Oh, sick. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, so the first thing inside the box is this note. It says, Martell family. We're excited to share our latest collaboration with sneaker designer John Geiger and his legendary 002 silhouette. Like Martell, John's products are a result of quality craftsmanship and a true testament to wearing your statement. The Martell blue camel colorway is exclusive to this collaboration and features a unique pattern on each of the pairs. No two are the same. Also, a little side detail, which they let me know through one of their emails, is that this packaging is one of 50, so 50 influencers are getting this packaging, and there's only a hundred pairs available to the public. So I think there's 150 pairs overall. And if you want to grab one of these pairs for yourself, there will be information in the description below. But I'm going to be honest with you guys. The first thing that I want to check out is the Martell glasses and the Martell bottle because this is packaged so nicely and these glasses are really, really nice. Okay. So you've got this Martell cognac glass, beautiful right here, actually two of them. And of course the Martell itself in this really nice bottle, which actually seems like it has some special packaging. Like I think this label is custom. In fact, actually have a bottle of Martell right back there, which I think is their standard label for the Blue Swift. But uh, this is sort of the special edition label. So Martell Blue Swift, enjoy responsibly. But now let's get into the sneakers themselves. And of course, you've got this sick box that comes in the Martell Blue Camo, which I love. Let's put this also sick, but larger box off to the side. There we go. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, it's heavy. Okay. So here we go. You've got the box, which like I mentioned, has the Martell blue camo. You've got Martell printed on the top in white. You've got John Geiger on one side. You've got the size tag on the other side. And then on the front, you've got hashtag make your statement. Okay, so let's pop the top on this box. Let's see the shoes for the first time. Here we go. Oh, these are sick. So here they are, the Martell John Geiger. Hashtag make your statement. We've got the other shoe, the left shoe, or the right shoe, excuse me. And as mentioned in the note, no two shoes are the same, which I find really cool. So of course, this left shoe is different than this right shoe, and this pair is completely different from any other pair that they made. And that's because they dyed this huge roll of material. I think it's this neoprene material right here, and then they cut it up for the different parts of the shoe. So because of that, no two shoes are the same because no dyed panel is the same. But I've actually had a couple pairs of 002s. I had the, uh, I think it's the Pittsburgh or Pittsburgh colorway, which was black with yellow. I also had the Miami Low colorway and the, um, I think another black colorway. I think it was the more like standard with the green toggle on the back. But uh, this new colorway, the Martell colorway is probably my favorite because I love blue, I love gold. It's sort of a gold or I guess tan 
even cognac color right there. Um, and it looks really, really fresh. And I love the 002 lows because they're very, very easy to rock in the summer. And this is definitely like a beachy, summery shoe. But like I mentioned, you've got this really nice neoprene material on the upper, which is very soft. You've got some nice padding around the heel. And I think if you look closely, you can actually find, there we go, the John Geiger logo. And if you look at the left shoe, I'm sure there's a, there we go, the Martell logo, kind of hidden right there on the toe, which is actually a really nice placement. And it looks like you've got another John Geiger logo right there. But like I said, all the pairs are completely different. The logo placement is different. And that's one of my favorite things about this shoe because every single side of the pair and every single shoe is going to be completely different and completely unique. So I got a size 9 and from my experience these shoes do run relatively true to size. So if you are grabbing a pair of these for yourself, whether it's this colorway or another one, I probably would go true to size. I do have to say though that this colorway actually has a really sick insole which I'm going to pull out. So you've got this blue leather insole with Martell printed in gold on the heel. That's so clean. I love that. Okay. Put that back in there. If you guys can win the Martell colorway, because you actually have to win this shoe, you can't buy it, you're gonna be stoked on it because it's a fire, fire shoe. Another detail I love about John Geiger 002 is the lacing system. And I love the way it wraps around the back half of the shoe, sort of the ankle area, and you tie it on the medial side. That's such a nice look. Now I would assume that this detail is more aesthetic than functional because the shoe itself actually holds its form really well and I don't think you really need to tie the laces because it fits well. But if you do decide that you want to tighten things up a little bit, you do have this little elastic and toggle here on the back so you can kind of pull it all together. I don't really ever tighten the back because these fit me really nicely but it's nice to know you have the option if you want it. Another kind of cool JG detail on the back of the shoe is you've got John Geiger's name sort of laser etched, I'm assuming that's what it is, into the heel of the sneaker. It could actually be could be molded in there. I'm assuming it's molded because usually when you laser etch something, it has burn marks around where you've laser etched. And I don't think they painted this midsole, so I'm assuming it's actually molded into the midsole, which is really cool. The tooling on this shoe is this really nice one piece midsole and outsole, or I guess maybe even cup sole. It comes in all white, it's all one piece, like I said, and you've got a nice traction pattern on the bottom. And I've gotta say that the foam they use in the shoe, obviously I haven't tried on this pair yet, but the foam that they've used in other 002s, which I'm assuming is the same as the foam on this shoe, is very, very comfortable underfoot. You know, it's not incredibly soft, like, Zoom X or maybe Boost or something like that. But it's definitely soft enough to make the shoe comfortable, especially if you're wearing it all day. But yeah, I really love this sneaker. I love the stitching detail down the center and the stitching detail around the, uh, the ankle of the shoe. I think it all comes together really nice. And of course the colorway, the Martell camo colorway is really, really clean. And it's eye catching. Like if you walk down the street in this shoe, whew, people are gonna look at you in a good way, <laughs> in a good way, of course. So for those of you interested in winning one of the 100 pairs of the John Geiger 002 Martells that are available to the public, entering is really easy, but of course, you do have to be 21 or over. All you have to do is follow Martell USA on Instagram and post a picture of yourself with a bottle of Martell Blue Swift. Then tag Martell USA, of course, on that Instagram post and use the hashtags Martell X John Geiger as well as hashtag sweepstakes. And make sure to have your entries in by April April 30th, 2021. But now we actually have a chance to talk to the designer of these shoes, Mr. John Geiger himself. So John, thank you so much for being with us today. If you guys aren't familiar with John Geiger, he is one of the, the elite sneaker designers in the world and one of the people that I've been looking up to for years. Man, it is a pleasure to have you on. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, thank you for the introduction. It's like an entirely nice to meet each other, uh, you meet each other, I guess. Tell me a little bit about this awesome Martell collaboration and how it all came together. All the collaborations we do it's very organic um martel obviously reached out and they had some ideas and i was already a fan of the brand and already seeing where they were going um it was very organic uh, i just love where they were heading culturally uh who they brought on they were on creative where they brought on a bunch of other people that i was already friends with i was getting i was already i was already drinking martel so it kind of was just like <laughs> nice. a home run it was kind of like this makes a lot of sense and that's how it kind of started where did the uh, the camo pattern come from Basically, when going into this, they, you know, gave us the Pantones, and then I kind of just wanted to make it a, when we do a collaboration like this, I wanted to kind of be like a one-on-one -on -one feel. And to do that, the material that we use is kind of like a neoprene, so it's a space of fabric. We can always dye it. That's awesome. Um, taking the two colors and then doing like a, we called it like a Martel camo unofficially, but it was still like a Martel camo. Uh, and then bringing two colors together and hiding the logos throughout, it's kind of like my signature thing. So we kind of just um, said that the 002 was the silhouette that would most likely be the best for collaboration. And then the artwork was kind of just like, the colorway just turned out super dope. I mean, some might be more blue, some might be more gold, and every pair is a one of one. Tell us a little bit about your design process and sort of what goes into designing a John Geiger sneaker. Um, well, with that silhouette, well, with just about anything, mm -hmm. it's just a designing footwear, just like a small piece of 
my love for design. Right. Currently trying to work on like hotels, furniture, homes, and that's, that's awesome. Been, and you know, for love of design overall, footwear just like comes into my everyday life. So how I got started designing, obviously, mm -hmm. I got to work with Nike early on in early uh, 2010, 11, and then everybody knows customs after that. Yep. Um, customs for me was like a weird space because although I don't like talking about it, it's one of those things where it's my it's my life. So yeah. It's just I don't like getting into the detail, like what it was and all that stuff. But it, it came because I didn't know, like I didn't know the world of uh, starting your own brand and promotion right. and everything. And then once I learned that, um, then it moved forward as my own brand. But designing my own footwear started just because I mean every day I, I wanted certain I wanted certain looks, I wanted certain pieces for outfits and stuff like that instead of just buying your veils and decided to make my own. So uh, how do you get your hands on a pair of these? You can get your hands on the John Geiger Martel 02s by going to sneakersweeps.martel.com for your chance to win a pair. But that pretty much wraps up the video for today. Huge thank you once again to Martel for sponsoring today's video, as well as John Geiger for taking the time to sit down with us and talk about these awesome 002 sneakers. Now I would love to know your thoughts on these shoes and whether you're gonna enter the giveaway. So make sure to let me know in the comment section down below. But as always, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet, and I'll see you all in the next one.